This is what happens when you love money more than God. World-renowned Dallas pastor T.D. Jakes is named in a federal lawsuit against musician Sean Diddy Cone. It's all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.D. Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. <laughs> The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. I don't think so. What? Right after Prince Harry, we find the name of Bishop D.D. Jakes, one of the celebrities involved in the case brought against D.D., and the claims are preposterous. Leverage his relationship with the bishop to mitigate the impact of Casey Ventura's lawsuit on his public image. As a Christian, your name does not belong in that category. As a Christian, you should not take a picture with such person in any amicable context. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Do you we love The Bible says in 1 Timothy 6:10, For the love of money is the root of all evil. And while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. People who dislike money dislike resources since everything that comes to you will come to someone. And if T.D. Jakes did not have a love of money and have the foresight to know who to connect with, he would never be in this position. Okay, so I'm not sure whether you've been following the news. Since last year, there have been claims against P.D., also known as Puff Daddy, and Bishop T.D. Jakes has been mentioned in those charges. Some prophets even mentioned it in November slash December 2023 and there was a lot of buzz about the whole event. Many individuals rallied to T.D. Jake's defense, claiming that it was the work of the enemy. However, from where I was, I saw that T.D. Jake's could be engaged. There were signs that could have linked T.D. Jake's to some of the charges. Perhaps not to the fullest extent, but there was some level of commitment. As a Christian, I can tell you right away that you shouldn't associate with certain people. And when some people hear me say that, they may think I should pull the 3x8 out of my eyes before saying such a thing. However, I believe I was correct, and today we will see the true full list of celebrities cited in DD's court case. This was published on March 26, 2024, at 12.47 p.m. By the way, Newsweek reported that a number of celebrities featured in court files related to music producer Rodney Jones' $30 million lawsuit against Scene Diddy Combs. Jones filed his claim on February 26, accusing Combs of sexual misconduct and grooming. Jones has also accused Combs of engaging in this activities. That's right there. Now, as I already stated, your name, photographs, and presence cannot be captured with some people for the sake of the gospel. Now, I do not consider T.D. Jakes to be a Christian. I see him as a fake preacher who has been spreading the prosperity gospel for personal benefit for decades. And now, I suppose he's reaping what he sowed. Keep in mind that I am not attempting to be cynical in any manner, nor do I wish the worst for T.D. Jakes. I am merely expressing the obvious. Now, this article is written by a collection of celebrities, so I'd like to share with you the list of celebrities mentioned in this lawsuit filing. According to the story, the celebrities identified in the complaint include Stevie J, Stephen Aaron Jordan, a music producer and television personality, a redacted name of a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj, and a Grammy award-winning R&B singer. It's the top persons on this list. It's Young Miami, and I'm not sure who that is, perhaps a celebrity. Prince Harry, this is royalty. It's jumbled in here, and right after Prince Harry, we see the name of Bishop T.D. Jakes, who is one of the celebrities in this case filed against D.D., and the charges are horrific. As a Christian, your name does not belong in that category. As a Christian, you should not take a picture with such person in any amicable context. Now, I'll tell you why Bishop T.E. Jakes is in that situation. He likes money. And I don't mean that by putting words in his lips or accusing him. This is based on his own testimony. He would socialize with people that hold different theologies than you in order to get prosperity and recognition, or whatever. Allow me to share this tape with you. Perhaps it will provide you with more clarity. This is Bishop T.D. Jakes from Elevation Church speaking about success 
and the video's title is How to Build Your Vision from the Ground Up. Obviously, this has nothing to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ. It would not have anything to do with the church or Christ himself. It is all about preparing oneself for fame, money, and the things of the scroll. Let's have a listen. Everything in my life I stumbled into. Is that right? I stumbled into, I never thought I would be producing films. My wife and I started out doing gospel plays and going on tour during gospel plays. We had no intention that we were going to ever do movies. T.D. Jakes collaborates with him because the chance for money, recognition, and achievement exists. As I already stated, Les continued to listen. Out of sleeping in his car right, and I was fresh out of money. So we got together and collaborated and did a play called Women Are Loose, and we toured the country doing it. And then we went to LA and did it. And a guy named Ruben Cannon was in the audience. You never know who's in your audience. Footnote to preachers, speakers, singers, or anyone on stage. Never adjust your performance to the crowd because you never know who is in the audience. You see, never change your performance. This is not preaching. It is a performance. Singers, preachers, and other performers should never change their act to the audience. It's not actually about the Bible. This has nothing to do with Christianity, nothing. So T.D. Jake's perspective is completely irrelevant to the kingdom of God. This individual was and is on a path that is diametrically opposed to what the Bible teaches and Christ himself lays forth for his church. You never know. Always give your audience your finest performance. I don't care if there are three people. One of those persons may alter the course of your life. So when you see Oprah at his church, as well as P. Diddy and other celebrities, his act is aimed toward them. Because those are people with a lot of celebrity, influence, and power, which may help him gain greater attention and eventually money. The entire format is anti-God and anti-Christ. I mean, if those individuals at Elevation Church care nothing about Christ, the Bible, or the Christian life in general, then this is ideal. However, this is being pushed as being Christian. Pastor Stephen Furtick and Bishop T.D. Jakes are selling this to Elevation Church's congregation. This is what it is being presented as. So this is risky. Reuben Cannon was in the audience, witnessed the play, and stated, I want to make it a movie. He stated, I want to make it a movie. I didn't have any movie money. There's a reason why movies and money begin with the letter M OK. When you have, but he mentioned something to me that changes the way business people think. They don't give up because they don't have enough money. He says, we'll raise the money. Let's see the movie. Pay attention to the difference in attitude. Ruben Cannon was in the crowd and he saw the play and he said, I want to make it a movie. He said, I want to make it a movie. I didn't have, bear mind, I didn't have no movie money. Movie and money both start with an M for a reason, okay? <laughs> when you have one, you got to have the other. But he said something to me that becomes the way business people think. They don't fail to do something because they don't have the money. He says, we'll raise the money. Let's do the movie. Listen to the difference in attitude. I can't do it because I don't have the money. He doesn't see money as an issue. If you see it as an issue, it'll be a stop sign. <laughs> he says, oh, we'll, we'll raise the money. So Cedric the Entertainer, and I can't remember who all, Oprah put some money in it, and different people put some money in it because he knew them. Relationships are your greatest resource. As a result, these people never discuss sin or hell. I am not sure if you have, but I have never heard him mention hell in my life. I have not repented once in my life. Never in my life have I been brokenhearted because of sin. He has never addressed topics that are currently affecting our culture, such as LGBTQ and homosexuality. He can't because he's received money from all of those groups, individuals participating in those kind of activities, people who are knee deep in Hollywood, in the dark world of Hollywood, who have given and supported this man throughout. This is only a business model. This has nothing to do with Christianity. I'm emphasizing that. That's why his name is on the list. But while it is unfortunate, it is necessary to declare the obvious. 
People who don't like money don't like resources because everything that's ever going to come to you is going to come through a person. That's why you got to be careful how you treat people because it's not guaranteed that it'll be somebody you like, your friend, they won't necessarily be your color, and they may not have your theology. Okay? But God may use them to bless you. You know, the ravens didn't go to church, but they fed Elijah. So anyway, so we put the money together. <laughs> That's why such men aren't interested in the Bible. Unfortunately, there are millions of people who follow T.D. Jakes and continue to defend him because those people are blinded. And secondly, they are not thinking about heaven. Instead, they are thinking about the things of the earth, money, and success, just like T.D. Jakes. This is the thinking of the people that support these guys. T.D. Jakes' name is now associated with Diddy in over 500,000 articles and videos on Google. I mean, this is unbelievable. That is another story explaining why Dallas Mega Church pastor T.D. Jakes was mentioned in a lawsuit against Scene D.D. Combs. You can read the entire articles on your own, but I'll only read the first few phrases here. Dallas Mega Church pastor of the Patters House. Thomas Dexter T.D. Jakes has been mentioned in a lawsuit linking him to seeing PDD Combs. Now TD Jake's name is associated with it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is what I mentioned in my first video about this. You know, with Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry going to their mansions and embarking on business projects without receiving any money from them since there is no cooperation. As I previously stated, TD Jake's is not a legitimate pastor or Bible teacher so he is reaping what he sows. My hope and prayer for him is that he will seriously evaluate all of this and repent of his prosperity gospel and love of money. And maybe in the end, he will be able to meet the Lord without being rejected as a lawbreaker. Anyway, this concludes this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments area below.